Okay, so on this one, we uh, they want us to add and subtract a couple of complex numbers. So here we go. I'm going to take this um, minus 16 plus. Now, what does that negative do inside the square root? Kicks out an I, and then the square root of 81 is 9. In fact, I'm going to put the 9 in the front. You don't have to. Is that good so far? So a negative in a root kicks out an I, and then the square root of 81 is just 9. Plus, and now the second one, minus. Again, that negative in the root kicks out an I, and it's going to be 2I because the square root of 4 is just 2. Now, how do we add those together? Well, you just add the real part with the real part and the imaginary part with the imaginary part. So minus 16 plus 4 is minus 12, isn't it? But I think about gaining and losing weight. If you lose 16 pounds and you gain back 4 pounds, you lost 12 pounds. Tracking with me? Right? Gains and losses. And now the 9i and, the, and take away 2i is plus 7i. So there's the answer to the first part. Now let's try the second one. This is minus 16 plus, and that negative in the root again kicks out an i. Square root of 81 is 9. So here we go. And then take away 4 minus, again, negative in the root, kicks out an i. 2i. Now we're subtracting. How do we subtract those two numbers? Well, you guys know this isn't the first time. A negative in front of a parenthesis distributes through, doesn't it? So it becomes negative 4 plus 2i. And you drop the parentheses. For the first one, there's no parentheses at all. So just bring it down. It's making good sense so far. So again, we just, you know, negatives in a square root kicks out an i, and then you just do the square root. And then a negative in front of parentheses, like anything up against the wall of a parenthesis, distributes through. Changing all the signs. Okay, what do we have now? Negative 16 minus 4 is negative 20. And then the other two, these two combined, plus 9i plus 2i is plus 11i. And so there's the final answer to that part. So we just added and subtracted two complex numbers. There we go.